This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite P755 laptop computer. Toshiba Satellite P755 with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on this laptop. Uh, before we go any further, or before we do anything, we want to remove the battery to make the laptop safe to work on. And the way you do that is you flip the laptop over. There's two levers on each side of the battery. You slide both of them out, and then you slide the battery out. Now that the laptop battery is out of the laptop, it's safe to work on. Okay, as with most other laptop computers, to get to the screen, you need to remove the screen bezel on the front of the computer. In order to get to the screen bezel, you need to remove four screws that are holding the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And these screws are hiding behind some plastic covers. So before we start, let's go over the tools we're going to need. We're going to need a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for the size. And just in case, we're also going to have a smaller PH0 bit. And in addition, we have an exacto knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers and also for various other tasks. And also a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. All right, so let's get started. First, we want to remove the plastic covers, and we use our exacto knife. And what I like to do is put them right next to the screw screw hole, so that we don't lose them. And then we just put them on right afterward. And this one's a little bit tougher. We can do it. Okay, so here comes the third one. Three. And four. Okay, so the four screw covers are removed, and then we use our screwdriver to remove the four screws. One. And Two and three and four. Now, for each set of screws for each step, I like to keep that set in a separate pile so when I'm putting the laptop back together, I can keep track of which screws go where. And in this case, we use our tweezers to remove the last screw. So we have the first pile for the screws that secure the screen bezel. Okay, next step is probably the trickiest one in this procedure. We want to remove the screen bezel. It snaps off, so we want to snap it off. So what we do is we put our fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting it up and listen for snapping sounds. Uh, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy, and just depends on the laptop, and sometimes it's hard or easy for the same laptop. So just work your way around the screen and snap it off. If you get stuck at a point, go somewhere else where it's easier and come back to the place where you get stuck at. And do the same thing on the bottom. And then just lift the screen bezel out and put it aside. Okay, for this type of screen, the screen is mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen, and we want to get to the screws that are holding the screen to the metal mounting bracket, and for that we need to tilt the screen forward a little bit. And what I like to do, the trick I like to use for that is there's two hinge screws on the bottom. I don't remove them, I just 
loosen them a little bit, which allows us to tilt the screen forward a little bit. One. And two, like so. Once we do that, we have access to the screws that are on the side. So there's three screws on each side, and then we remove these screws. So I usually like to start at the bottom and go one by one. Once again, start a new pile of screws so I can keep track of the screws. Two. Three. Okay, next we do the same thing on the other side. This one's a little bit tricky, so we're going to loosen the hinge screws a little bit more so we can access the side screw easier. So we have one. and three. Okay, the screen assembly is loose now. Now when you're doing this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all the screws, the screen doesn't fall forward. Okay, next step is to tilt the screen forward. And right away we see that the webcam cable is has an adhesive to the back of the screen. So what we did what I did is I removed the connector that goes to the webcam so we could tilt forward the webcam cable the screen without damaging the webcam. And there's some adhesive on the back, so we remove that adhesive so that the webcam cable is free. And on this type of screen there's only one connector, it's an LED screen, so we have to remove the connector. And before we do that, there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable at the other side of the connector that we lift up. And also there's an adhesive tape on top of the connector that we need to lift up before we can remove the connector. And we'll, I use my X-Acto knife this time, but you can also use your now to do that so we lift up this adhesive tape and once we do that all we do is pull the connector back and it comes out so the screen is free before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because that's the thing that people have a lot of trouble with when they do this at home so when you slide the connector in you should feel not hear two clicks on there that means the connector is properly engaged. And let's get a close-up look at what a properly connected connector should look like. Okay, here's a good focus. Let me see if I could pull the tape back to get a good, better shot. Okay, so what you see, the seam between the two sides of the connection should be tight. There should not be any gap in the seam and it should be flush. So pause the video right there and make sure your connector connection looks like this before you go on because that's the problem that most people have is the connection is not tight enough. Okay, <clears throat> so next we remove the connector again and we'll take a look at the screen. The screen, it's a 15.6 inch LED screen, uh, very, as of mid-2011, this is a very common screen for laptop computers, so you should not have much problem finding it. Let's take a look at the part number, it's LP156WH4, LP156WH4 is the part that you need to know. Okay, you can also order this part from us, from Screen Surgeons, and uh, what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation, and you also have a compatibility guarantee. If the screen you send you is not compatible, we'll send you a replacement to one at no cost. 
Also, uh, we ship internationally. We ship to most countries around the world, and you can do that in our shopping cart. So to buy a screen for, uh, from us, go to screensurgeons.com. And on the bottom of the screen, you see a link called Buy a Screen. Go there. Then there will be a short form for you to fill out. And, and on the form, you'll have your, the email address and the laptop model number. Once you do that, I uh, will send your email back with a price quote and the link to the right screen. And then you can buy it. Okay, uh, that's it. So when you receive your new screen, there are a couple of things to watch out on. Of course, put on the connection like I showed you. Once the screen is up, don't forget to connect the webcam, very important. And the other thing that you should remember is to tighten the screws once you put mount the screen back in the metal mounting bracket. So tighten these screws. Then snap the bezel back on and put the two screws on the bottom. And then you should be done and it should be good to go. Okay, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Hanrukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you and good luck.